so many of you are writing in and saying, hey, I'm really trying to get into some sort of health routine. I'm not really worried about weight loss per se, but I'm worried about strength and I just want to be able to see changes in my body and have my clothes fit better and all that. I totally get that. I think it's really important to know that the number on the scale, as cliche as it says, as it sounds, doesn't really mean that much because certainly you can have a totally different type of body at different weights. So don't worry about the weight so much. Let's think about our body composition and how that looks. So a lot of folks will see their body lose weight or take shape in different ways. For me, it kind of goes from the top down and from the bottom up. So I'll kind of see an imbalance right now. I'm imbalanced around my midsection, right? So my midsection and my booty are bigger than the rest of my body because that's just kind of how my body is taking shape. I'm just back at the gym after four years. So let's talk about how you can use just a simple measuring tape to see those changes in your body at over a four week or eight week or 12 week time. Because after four weeks, you'll really start to see it. And after 12 weeks, other people will be like, what are you doing? Cause I'm noticing it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is get a piece of paper, pen, or put it in the notes in your phone, your tape measure. And I'll start with my bicep. Now, if you're really looking for strength training and you wanna see how that's gonna do, you can do a flex bicep and measure it. I like to do it at a rest, my muscle at a resting. So I will wrap it around. You can have a friend help if you want, but the idea is just to keep your um, arm loose at your side and go at the biggest part of your bicep, okay? And then you're just gonna, nice and loose, don't pull it too tight and see where that is and mark that down. Because we have dominant hands and non-dominant hands, we'll take them on both sides. And so when you're writing that down or putting that in your notes, make sure you say left bicep, right bicep. So maybe your bicep is 15 inches, 15.25. Write that down for left. If it's 15.5 on the right, put that down. The next I do is you take, if you wear any sort of like a bra or binding agent, you'll take that off. I do have a sports bra on, but you're going to just come around and I go straight across the middle of your girls. Okay. So right across the nipple, right across the the thickest part of your girls and again loose okay we don't want to pull this really tight we want to see exactly where we are as it um, meets together without any pulling uh, there so that you only need one measurement then we'll go from the smallest part of your waist so I always did it right above my belly button you can do it directly across your belly button you can look for the smallest part and do it but for me straight across my belly button is the easiest way to remember it so I'll do that too again you're not you're not pulling it tight, um, you, you wanna get a good idea. And you wanna do it at the same time every time you measure yourself. So maybe you do it right away in the morning or you do it at noon or you do it at five, whatever, but do it at the same time because food will change this, this measurement. Then I'll put my feet together and I will go around the thickest part of my booty, okay? And when, when you do that, again, you're not pulling too tight, but you wanna make sure that you're capturing the thicker part too, and that's one measurement. Then we'll do the thigh, and I do the thickest part of my thigh, which is right up here um, for most folks, and, and pull that around too. Make sure your leg isn't tense, and pull it around and see where, where that measurement lies. Again, for this one, you'll do a left and a right measurement. You're almost done. Then you're gonna come down to the calf. And for the calf, again, the thickest part of your calf, we want our leg to be relaxed and wrap it around and check that. So you'll have a left and a right measurement for both of those calves. When you do this and you check again, the first time you should check is after four weeks. Look and see how those numbers changed because we often see my weight didn't fluctuate and that I thought that it would, but you'll see that you've lost six inches. That's huge, right? So there are different ways to measure your success, your progress, weight is the least important. Try a measuring tape and let me know how your results go. I'm Dr. Meredith Roush, helping you connect better with yourself and each other.